this is an emergency video because we're actually getting the first leaked Pokemon of Legend ZA. This leaker hasn't been wrong before, and this time they shared a bunch of game data of one of the new Pokemon. They share stats, weirdly they're also bringing back abilities in a Legends game, which I guess makes sense given that many mecha evolutions are dependent on abilities. But most importantly, they also have a screenshot, which I used to provide a clearer drawing. Now, there's a lot of layers coming from this one Pokemon alone, and in this video, we'll cover all of it, starting with how this leaked Pokemon is a Convergent. Alright, so in Generation 9, Pokemon introduced a new trope, ecologically similar Pokemon, which many fans call Convergent Pokemon. It's not an official term yet, and I was also considering using a different name. But the term ecologically similar has been officially used, which really points to the definition of convergent evolution. Convergent evolution is when different species independently adopt a similar body shape or parts. They might look similar, but it's not because they shared an ancestor with that trait. Instead, in real life, convergent evolution occurs because the species have similar niches in their habitat and that particular shape or part helps them survive and do well in their roles. But in Pokemon, these similar looking species have different types and seemingly different niches. Thus, I was inclined to say that these Pokemon species in-universe just coincidentally ended up looking very similar to a past line. However, when the third lookalike Pokemon was announced, Poltergeist, who looks like Pokemon Sword and Shield Sinistee, they are mentioned to look similar because of ecological similarities. So it sounds like Pokemon wants to describe convergent evolution, where these Pokemon lines look similar because they also have similar ecological roles. Also to clarify, the reason why Poltergeist isn't just a regional synesty is because instead of being liquid tea, Poltergeist is matcha tea powder. Now, I personally also kind of wish it was a green tea regional, but either way, for the rest of the video, I'll be calling these Convergence. Now, it makes perfect sense that we will get to see at least one Convergent line in Pokemon Legends ZA, because last time in the 8th generation, Pokemon Sword and Shield introduced a new trope of regional evolutions, where regional variants evolve into a completely different species. And guess what happened later in Pokemon Legends Arceus? They had new regional evolutions! Alright, so the leaked Pokemon is a convergent of pseudo Wudo. They look like pseudo Wudo without being it. So instead of being a rock type piece of petrified wood, they are now a bug ghost type. The leaker didn't mention if they'll have a convergent Bonsly, I mean, I assume there is, but this leaked Pokemon seems to clearly be a stick bug. Bug images on the screen till I say they're gone. In 3, 2, 1. Stick bugs are an order of insects that can camouflage themselves by resembling sticks and twigs. They can even regrow their limbs. And you know what stick bugs are also called? Phasmids. That's right, they are the phantom order of insects, thus the bug ghost type, instead of a bug grass. Alright, bug image is over. So this bug is trying to be a tree. Very much like how Pseudo Wudo is trained to be a tree. Speaking of bugs, as Pokemon Legends ZA is taking place in the Kalos region, did you know in the original Pokemon X and Y games, there was only one new line of bug types? Sure, there are some bug type mega designs, and that one new line had like 20 different patterns, but still, Kalos needs more bugs. So it appears that they took this opportunity to make a convergent bug type. It just makes sense. Alright, enough dilly dallying. So the leaker who wishes to be anonymous also provided a blurry image of what seems to be the menu sprite. But worry not, because I've went ahead to make my own interpretation of Mima Wudo. That's right. This convergent not only seems to be a stick bug, but also a French mime artist. Makes perfect sense for the French-inspired Kalos region. They wouldn't be the first mime-inspired Pokemon, but Pokemon has revisited concepts several times before. I don't know if this was intended, but Mima Wudo's ghostly pale tone with the sticks doesn't just look like a mime, but also a birch or aspen tree, both which could be found in France. 
And more importantly, the pale sticks remind me of a skeleton. And the arms look like they could split off like General Grievous from Star Wars. Finally, the red-orange autumn leaves could be a reference to how some mime artists have a red accent. And I might be reading too much into this, but it could elicit some creepy clown imagery with the sharp red against the pale white. Alright, now for the stats. I'm not the most meta-literate when it comes to competitive Pokemon, but it seems like they really min-maxed the pseudo Wudo stats because 410 total base stats is really not a lot. And that speed? Oof. So apparently Mimo Wudo no longer gets sturdy, but it does get rattled. Maybe there's a beat up weakness policy strat in there somewhere? Uh, it's still pretty slow. Then it also gets Mimicry. Okay, this ability was introduced as the signature ability of Galarian Stunfisk, but I wasn't exactly that thrilled with the name. So Galarian Stunfisk is supposed to be a bear trap. Still a flatfish, but they have this additional snapping identity, with their only ability being their signature Mimicry which changes their type according to the terrain. I kinda wish this was just called camouflage, because that's the more general term of blending into the surroundings. Mimicry is when a living thing tries to be like another specific thing, whether that's a specific organism or a specific object. But Galaria Stunfisk seems like it's just blending into whatever color the floor is, which would be better described with the more general term of camouflage. Just call the ability Camouflage. Oh, are you telling me that there's already a move called Camouflage so it can't be used? Well, it wouldn't be the first time a move's name was used for something else in Pokemon. Plus, the move Camouflage hasn't been in the game since Sword and Shield. However, when it comes to stick bugs, they are performing mimicry because they're specifically looking like a branch. So, the ability does fit for a Mima Widow. Mima Widow's final ability is Technician, and I'm sure there are plenty of bug moves that could get boosted through this ability, and I guess a few ghost ones. So with all that, there's one last crucial part to this leak that I don't know if anyone else has noticed yet. The date. To clarify, I made Mima Widow up. The whole leak is fake. I mean, fan-made Pokemon have had roots in fake Pokemon leaks, thus popularizing the term fake mon. So this year, I really wanted to lean into that fake part of fake mon. Here, as a prize, I'll even show you the shiny I made for this guy. I even made a matching Bonsly. Though, in hindsight, I would have made them look more like a leaf bug. I frankly don't even know what they should be called. Bonds mine? Nah. While my leak is fake, I really do expect Pokemon Legends ZA to have at least one line of convergence. I mean, Legends Arceus ended up giving us over 20 new Pokemon, and of the new ones in Legends ZA, there's plenty of room to put in a convergence somewhere. And my golly, does Kalos need more bug types. Either way, if you like my thought process with the designs and inspirations, or if you like my art, I'm working on my own creature collector where the creatures are all based off of science concepts and I'll be making more videos about them. So follow the channel. Now try sharing this video to a friend to see how long I can fool them. Alright, so firstly a big thank you to my Patreon members for their direct support on my channel and my projects. And thank you for watching my video. Happy April Fool's Day.